All right. So the brother on the screen here is an actor by the name of Christian Keys. And, you know, he put this post up on Instagram, pretty much giving our sister some praise. And as you see, he said, black women are definitely superheroes. Okay. Now, like clockwork, the little inner slave master jumped out of this Becky, who you see up here. And from what I've heard, they say that Instagram or either her comment is deleted. So you probably won't be able to find it. But underscore B underscore Laura chimes in with the all women like he's she's correcting him. Okay. Now, the brother Christian Keys responds, I said what I said. It's a shame that we can't even celebrate black women without others popping up talking about what about us? Just because somebody says something positive about black women, it doesn't mean that they don't think the same about other women. It just means that here in this moment right now, I would like to say something positive and amazing about black women. If that offends you, then you are a part of the problem. God bless. Okay, now, first things first, much respect to this brother for recognizing our sisters, giving them props for that. He's doing the diplomatic response. Now I'm going to give you the response that I would give. And really that I would like to see all brothers give, even if they're in his position. Underscore B Laura whatever your name is right here in this post that chimed in with all women, you white women, Asian women, Hispanic women, women of any other group that aren't black. This is a black man talking. And I'm telling you that anytime a brother gives praise to black women, that's black women we're talking to. We don't owe you no apologies about that about praising the women of our group. If you want praise from the men of your group, you need to go over there and get on that, okay? If a brother wants to give praise and honor to black women, we can do that. And we're going to do that. We don't need your permission to do that and we don't have to apologize for that. So you can go sit your little pale male jar ass down somewhere. And that goes for any of the rest of you that don't like that, okay? See, we got to get out of this nature, especially as brothers, as black men. We got to get out of this nature that we have to get permission to celebrate ourselves. We don't. And I'm, tell I'm telling you sisters this. If you want to praise brothers specifically and you love black men, you don't need to get nobody permission to do that. And you don't have to be apologetic when you check their motherfucking ass. Now, I understand this brother, you know. I don't know how he was raised or whatever. He's, he's trying to be courteous and professional. He's getting his paper. But see, this is another thing I got to bring up. We need to get more control of our industries in any field that we're in so that when a brother comes out and says something, he don't have to water it down worrying about, OK, if I say this or if I say it this way, you know, it's going to interfere with my paper. You know, I'm going to make these white folks mad. I don't give two shits about you. I, I don't depend on the motherfuckers for my paper. OK, they can't tell me what to say in anything I do. I generate. I don't I don't beg for my I generate. OK. And when you generate your own economic situation, you don't have to be apologetic about about whatever you say. You can check these motherfuckers and tell them the truth and see. I, I got to go ahead and really flesh this out because, see, just as I was saying in uh, the last couple of videos that I did, there was one in particular where I had to check this phony little white supremacist coming over trying to give me praise. If you tell them something's not for them, they lose their damn mind. Because, see, you got to look at something. When they have been raised in a society that's pretty much been taught to cater to them, they're pretty much inheriting the same traditions and values passed down from their racist grandparents. You see, these people, these white people that are 60, 70, plus years old, you got to stop and think about something. These people witness lynchings and hangings, okay? You don't think that some of these people, when you look back at those photos, man, that lived on through that, gathering around in town squares, watching black people hung, burned, shot, and every other horrible manner of torture you can think, you don't think they trained their children 
and grandchildren in their racist ways see it's passed down like a family heirloom so that's why they always feel like they have some type of position or ownership over us and it's up to us to check that black family and when you do it you don't have to be apologetic about it now like i said i'm not knocking a brother i understand why he gave the response he did but this is the one i'm giving you and i want you all to hear this black man or black woman if you love our people and you buy black empowerment the next time somebody chime in with that, you let them click on this, okay? Because I don't mind telling these motherfuckers where they can go. They can kiss my ass. I don't need to get permission from none of them to praise my own group of women, okay? I ain't got the all lives matter. I ain't got to say all women. I'm talking about black women. And uh, let me get on that. Oh, I'm finna, I'm finna cut deep in and pour some salt in this room, this wound right here. First of all, when you really dealing with brothers like me and other black men that love our women, I'm going to tell you something. Don't know other women on the planet compared to black women. And that's not me pandering. I'm just saying you don't. How you going to compare to a black woman? To me, you just a false version of a woman. And I'm going to tell you why I say that. Look at all the styles that you got, whether it's your little bad babies, your Kim Kardashians or whatever. They are all trying to copy black women hairstyles and the way they dress, the way they talk, the way they dance. You're trying to get surgery to get the body that black women have. So, no, you don't compare to black women. OK, you don't. You trying to be like them because you lack all that in genetic and spiritual qualities and you damn sure just cannot compare to the genuine femininity of a black woman that's in her femininity now we got some sisters that aren't but for those that are come on man get out of here get out of here there is no comparison so if, if you were angry about what he said that's really gonna piss you off and i don't care about that okay now you need to get on over there and get your brass and your jorge's and, and, and your loud chains and whoever else to give you some praise if you need to be uplifted. Black men are not obligated to do that. Okay. That's been my time on this black family. I had to go in and put it out here the way it need to be put out because when I keep seeing a lot of these things like this, I don't see nobody put an exclamation point on it from a black man's point of view without being apologetic. See you all in future content. Stay safe.